What's up nerds? It's Mason. Uh, today I just wanted to make a little video sharing a spotlight on one of my favorite comics. Uh, it is Detective Comics number 395, which came out in January of 1970. Uh, this is a awesome Neil Adams cover and my favorite personally uh, Neil Adams cover yeah more than Batman 251 Batman 234 Batman 200 this is the one for me um, I guess it just appeals to my aesthetic uh, it's hard to really put words to it um, I, I like the red logo and on the black background that really pops we got uh, a big bright image of Batman down in the corner uh, big word bubbles that really uh, pique the reader's curiosity. Uh, I offer you immortality or instant death. Choose now. Uh, you know as a kid in the 1970s, you were probably uh, wanting to scrounge up 15 cents so you could see what happens to Batman in this one. So open it up and take a look at some gorgeous Neil Adams interiors. Pretty cool story too. Um, and I do believe this is noted as the first time Neil Adams and Denny O'Neill worked on a Batman title together. So it's a classic team. <clears throat> nice off-white pages, maybe off-white to white. Oh yeah. I always really like that panel. Reality melts all around him. Oh, the world is a sense-shattering nightmare. Nice action panels. Good stuff. Um, I bought this one on eBay. Uh, it was priced at $65 shipped, and I thought uh, that was a pretty damn good deal uh, considering my experience with this book on eBay and in general. Um, he had it graded as a fine uh, 7.0. We'll take a closer look. Um, kind of has a miswrap on it, but. For me, I think uh, that kind of appeals to me because normally you'll have a, a black spine on here and uh, it shows spine ticks uh, pretty well and spine ticks really annoy me with this book. Um, the biggest issue would be uh, this corner, uh, corner uh, color breaking uh, crease right here. You flip it over. Uh, I'm just kind of dirty, but not bad. So I'd agree with a 7.0 at least on that one. You know, nice uh, glossy copy. Very clean, love it. So yeah, um, this has been uh, quite a whale of a book for me, at least in high grade. Um, I, uh, when I was first searching for uh, a copy of this, you know, I'd be at comic shows, be digging in the long boxes and you know, you'd be in the detective uh, box. You know, it'd be 390, 391, 392, 393 and 395 was always missing and it obviously really pissed me off because it was like is it just because I'm looking for it is I can't find it what's the big deal with this book and then uh, you know after a, a little while I did find a really beat copy and I, I felt like a winner just to have that one uh, but I sold it a while ago and that hole in my collection was kind of eating at me and um, so this book is on my eBay safe searches and I'm a nerd with eBay and you know I'll look at my safe searches every hour or two and I, I know I nabbed this one pretty much, it had to have been within the hour um, that this uh, seller had posted it. And um, compared to the other raw books that I see of this one, they're always, you know, not in very good condition and typically overpriced. And um, this one, it hit the spot for me, had good photos and a trusted seller. And uh, I like it. Um, and even graded copies, I rarely ever see them um, on the bay. There was a 9.2 uh, through my comic shop on there for a while. That was priced at 500, and um, that sold after a couple of months. Um, hopefully, the buyer went to the actual my comic shop website to save themselves 100 bucks. Um, I tried to convince myself to buy it, but you know, just wasn't uh, wasn't feeling that frisky at the time. But it was a nice copy, and then there was an 8.5. Um, on there for a little while that was priced at around 250 and there were some some ticks on it that kind of annoyed me and made me want to hold out and I know that buyer bought it when there was like a 50% off 75 plus coupon so they didn't get too bad of a deal so good for them I'm still waiting for mine but 
just absolutely love this cover, guys. And it kind of has the same um, style as other of my favorite Neil Adams. Um, I got some examples, uh, like Brave and the Bold, 79, you know, Batman down here at the bottom, uh, Brave and the Bold, 93, Batman down here in the corner. Really dig that cover. And then Detective number four, uh, 414, Batman down in the corner. Nobody puts Batman in the corner but Neil Adams. <laughs> All right. So anyway, and as for uh, the CGC census, uh, as for a further example of how hard to find it is, um, there are no graded 9.8 copies. There are three 9.6s, and I know one was a pedigree that sold, I think it was the beginning of the year, on Comic Link. I forget the name of the pedigree, but that was around $1,200, I think. So pretty, uh, I don't know if that's a strong price or not. There's not a lot to compare it to. But um, Lord knows if I had $1,200 to drop, that would have been a good buy. But, um, and then not, there are 15 9.4s, 19 9.2s, and 20 9.0s, and 18 8.5s. And altogether, there are a total of 109 graded copies on CGC. So relatively, you know, kind of a small number. Um, and I even posted a want to buy on the CGC forums last year. Um, and I heard crickets, man. No one wanted to help a brother out with that one. Um, and I think, you know, and it goes along with a lot of higher grade silver and bronze Batman, you know, and especially Neil Adams. Um, I think collectors really want to hold on to their high grade copies. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that's hip to the fact that this is hard to find, so probably be difficult to pry it out of some collector's hands. Um, but, you know, as a collector, it's always nice to have something to look for. Um, so I try to stay positive about it. But I also, you know, like this copy here, it is a nice copy. So why do I really need, a, you know, a near mint copy? So I, I try to psychoanalyze myself in that aspect. Um, you know why and then in general like sometimes why do we need such high grade copies why are we willing to spend so much more money um, especially when it comes to big keys you know like Amazing Fantasy 15 where the difference of a 5.0 and a 7.0 is thousands of dollars you know and what what is the real difference in a 5.0 and a 7.0 you know an accumulation of creases or tears um, maybe chipping um, but that's like a brand new car <laughs> and the difference of value. Um, and I, you know, I understand some people can afford to be that picky and that's okay, but it's truly fascinating to see the differences in value when it comes to tiny imperfections. Um, and being a spectator of the market is always uh, really entertaining. And um, Hulk 181 really comes to mind in this aspect where you know the 1.5 had sold for close to $1,000 and I think people have lost their damn minds because what is a 1.5? It's beat to hell. And you're spending $1,000 on that book. Are, is that book really that rare? Are, are you really that hungry for it? I don't know. I mean, hey, I love Wolverine too, but I'm glad that you know, I'm not thirsty for that book really. But you know, obviously you know, people can spend what they want to spend. It's not my problem. But uh, you know, again, as a spectator, I am wowed by the the strength of that book and I know some people are laughing all the way to the bank on that one so good for them but um, it is uh, interesting to um, you know figure out you know and talk to your own self about why you need such high grades you know what's the difference in these flaws like this this crease down here does that have to bother me so much you know what if it wasn't there you know in these little tears like overall you know this is a nice uh, example of this book and for now I am pretty happy with it and yes I will feel um, accomplished I, I suppose I don't know if that's the right word um, but feel good if I can actually get my hands on a near mint copy and if only just because it really is one of my favorite comics and I'm not picky a lot about a lot of my books but this one I have come to be kind of picky about but other than that I just wanted to share my perspective on it and uh, hey, leave a like if uh, you dig this cover too. Uh, you know, drop a comment to share your own perspective on uh, Neil Adams covers or high grades. And uh, thank you guys for stopping and checking out. Peace.